Shalom, Yashrael. I just wanted to share a brief clip of the first woman's roundtable that was held on the Bob Talk radio show debate talk for you. A sister who goes by the name of Amunet shared some powerful words of wisdom to the younger women on the panel and the listening audience. Now, I'm not endorsing this sister's teaching. Uh, quite frankly, I'm not even sure what her spiritual background is. But please realize, Yah can use whomever he chooses to bring forth his truth. And as believers in the Most High, we need to be aware of that and be willing to hear others out and not shut them down if they might have a different spiritual background than we do. Now, too often as believers, we have bought into the Torah of Hollywood. What do I mean by that? Hollywood has its Torah too its instructions and teachings that it puts uh, forth on a 24-7 basis into the world. And many believers sadly have bought into that tour. And their concept of love has become twisted as a result of that, where they mix up uh, love and infatuation and love and lust warm, gushy feelings uh, is not what love is about, Dasharal. And I had to learn this too. I can remember being in the Christian church and hearing at first that love is a choice. When I heard that, I couldn't believe my ears because to me it sounded so unromantic and uh, opposite to what I had been taught up until then. But the truth of the matter is love is a choice. The romance, the warm, gushy feelings, all of that stuff comes after you've made the conscious decision to truly love someone. And sadly, the reason why our divorce rate is so high uh, in our society is because people do not understand that. This uh, sister, Amunet, she shared some powerful words of wisdom to the younger women on the panel and the listening audience when she was asked a question, what advice she would give to her daughter if her daughter asked her what qualities she should look for in a man. I'm going to shut up now so you can hear her response to that question. God bless. I would say that, um, first of all, uh, from my from my perspective, he will want to be and you will want to be best friends, first and foremost. Uh, before all the romance and the mushy-gushy, you will want to be best friends. That attraction should be when he's the one that's going to be your best friend in the entire world. That's first and foremost. And it's not going to be you'll feel... The, the the romantic feelings they they follow, but the first initial um, point of contact in the friend, in the relationship should be that you want to be friends with this person. You really like this person because a lot of people get all gushy and mushy eyed and starry eyed and and oh he's just so wonderful and he just looks good and he just says all the right things and he, he you know he seems like he's so together. But do you have a friend? Because yeah. once all of that fades, okay, once all of that fades, if you don't have a solid friendship, you have nothing. You can feel romance, you can feel butterflies, you can feel fuzzy wuzzies, mushy gushies, oh, ah, yes, he's wonderful, but is he your friend? And of course, of course, first and foremost, of course, does he have a spiritual path that he's following, oh, my goodness, and, and that should be, you know, top priority, you know, is, 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 is that number one, you know, because he's got to love the Most High God before he loves you. So yeah. that's first and foremost, you know, because if you're on one path and he's not and he's in, you know, he's got one foot in the world and he's out there, you know, uh, he's in the bar, he's in the club, um, you know, he's, a, he's a, with the party, you know, look at his character, you know, if you know that you're not on that path, then you shouldn't be hooking up with somebody that's not on that path either. You know, there should be nothing in him. If he's out there worldly, then there's something in your spirit that should be anti that, that should not gravitate towards that. There should be something that you should go, Ugh! 
you know, if he's not about taking care of his body, and I mean, I don't mean just working out at the gym, but I mean what he ingests, uh, what he digests, if he yeah. drinks, if he smokes, uh, that shouldn't attract you, especially if you're not on that path. That shouldn't be attractive at all. That's the ultimate turnoff. Um, and he's out there in the world. What are his interests? What is he reading? What is he ingesting? Is he ingesting uh, spiritual food daily? Does he have a prayer life? Does he meditate? Does he reflect? Is he insightful? Is he intelligent? Is he reflective? Does he understand who you are? How does he communicate? Yeah. He's communicating with you. What is he saying to you? Is he talking about garbage in the street? Is he talking about just to just to turn you on in your ear? Or is he dropping something in your spirit? What is he depositing in your spirit? What are you depositing in his? Do you have a spiritual relationship? Is this somebody you can pray with? Is this somebody that, you know, you can build with? Wow. You know, so that those are the things that I would say suggest because that's going to be the foundation of the relationship over all things, feelings and butterflies. And he's just such a, he's such a doll. He's so beautiful. He's just so all. He's just so all. No, come on. <laughs> come on. What, what, what else do we have going on here? And then talk about, okay, and, 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 and this was a jewel that I was given as well growing up. And, and, and again, don't you love mother's advice? You know, she was right. You know, I fought on a lot of things and tried to rebel, but she was right. Pick, and this sounds very snooty. It sounds snooty, but you must also pick somebody who is of your same socioeconomic class and background. That sounds very snooty. And I thought when she said it, it was stuck up and snooty, and I didn't like her for it. But guess what? She was right. The reason why, and somebody can pick themselves up, and that's beautiful. Yeah, you can. Sure you can. But you're going to have a different mentality. This is a fact. You're going to have a different mentality unless you work hard at being transformed in this area in a lot of ways because um, two families are not going to understand each other, and, that, and that's, that's a fact. Um, and I thought it was very snooty for her to say that, but it, but it was the truth. Um, that's another thing. Where is he going so in his socioeconomic plight? Does he understand finances? Because that's part of being a provider for the household. Does he understand finance? What is his relationship with money? So we've got, we've got the spiritual component, but we also have to have things in the natural if we're going to build a family together. And people don't think about that. They just want to lay up and have the baby, and then you have a baby father. You don't want to be a baby mama. We, see, this is, this is, see, we as women, we have the right to, the, we forgot that we have the right to demand marriage. Yes, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. Yes, indeed. But we don't have to be the baby mama. We don't have to accept that and let him get off the hook. There was a time and day where if a, if a man got you pregnant before he walked across the aisle with you, he was, he, it, the, the family got together and said, no, you got to marry the girl. I don't know where we dropped the ball with that, where it became okay for him, where it became an option. Where, why is it an option? For the man to marry you when you're with child, if he had enough love to insert and make and inseminate and impregnate, wh why aren't we getting married? Why are 70% of black children born out of wedlock? And that's cool? That's okay? That, that's okay? I don't get pregnant and he's the baby, so I don't want to marry him. Are you kidding me? He said he gets off, got free, but you, but you, you take on the thing? No, baby, I leave this baby on your doorstep. I don't want to hear it. Well, you don't have to be 24-7. I let you get off. But obviously I loved you enough to lay down with you, but I think you didn't love me enough to marry me. That's a problem. When did this become normal in our community? Why? Because we saw mommy and, 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 and you know, my mother was married three times. My grandmother was married twice. My great-grandmother was married twice. They got tired of them and they kicked, they kicked them to the curb, I'm telling you. But, you know, still... Serial marriage I don't agree with I don't want to be like that I made up in my mind I didn't want to be like them I was not going to do that But You know Why aren't we getting married Why is it okay For him To get me pregnant But he doesn't have to marry me Why is it mom stepping in And saying Excuse me You got her pregnant You're not marrying me Y'all not going to be a family We're not We're not seeking family members We're seeking lovers 
Or do you want this man to be a part of your family, or you just want him to be your lover? Because it was good. We're not, we're not seeking lover, friend, and family member. We're seeking lovers. And we forgot that we're supposed to be a family. When you lay down with somebody, that's supposed that you become one flesh. That's supposed to be your family. That's your family member. You, sh- you exchange DNA with that person. That is your family member now. But we don't want to be a family. We just wanted to be lovers. And now you're all in your emotions and all in your flesh because he was sexy. And now you don't have him. Why? We just fell out of love, but you fell in love to make a baby, so you stick with love, and you stay in love. If he was your best friend, it would have turned out differently. You would still have your best friend. Well, because we weren't best friends. We were just lovers. We weren't family. We weren't even thinking about being family. You were just sexy to me. Hmm. Wow. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to sit down. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh, listen, listen. Even, 